Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video of some um, vintage and pre-owned necklaces. So this video is probably gonna be long because I've only gotten one order so far, and I think I have like two or three more coming in. Um, and I wanna do them all at one time because I don't wanna do like six videos together. Um, so we're just gonna do the first order that came in. This one's pretty awesome. I think maybe after shipping, it was like 30 bucks. It was probably like 15 bucks and then like a bajillion dollars on shipping because shipping is ridiculous these days from everybody but um it is what it is if you want stuff <laughs> i guess this is a pendant um i i like the shape i really like the shape of this pendant i'm not gonna keep it as is because um i don't like this like epoxy or resin look it, it kind of looks like Okay, I don't want to be gross, but it kind of looks like sewage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I'll probably paint that. Um, and it's got some cute little, I think they might be, I think they're coated beads. I don't think they're stone, but they're just like little glass beads. The cool thing about these dangles is they're on some very strong um, head pins. So I'll probably just leave them as dangles and change them out on the project. Lots of stuff in this one. And I'll probably end up doing um, a bead harvesting video pretty soon because I have a lot to go through. This one is a beautiful inlaid shell pendant on the necklace. It's at a diagonal. I could take that out if I wanted it to be this way. I'd just add a bail to the back. Love it. This reminds me of one of my favorite designers. It's Lee Sands. I don't know if this is Lee Sands. I don't think it is, but um, nice look. This one's, pr it's got two smaller connectors. I would paint this part black to just match the rest but look how shiny that shell still is and this is older got some cute little wood beads on here i would not wear this one as is there is at least one necklace in here that i would wear as is though all right so this one's got a lot going on let's see there's a tag on it no it's just a bead on the back okay so it's a multi-strand lots of smaller wood beads and seed beads but definitely would use these in other projects. We've got um, some type of nut bead, and then these are wood, not bone, but they're very cool. I like them. Uh, these, I want to say these are some kind of nut as well. Not sure what type. Very pretty though. Lots of beads on that one. This is such a great way to get beads if you're on a budget. These necklaces are everywhere, and I, inevitably, every movie or every video that I do where I'm taking apart these necklaces, not really where I'm showing you the necklaces themselves. Somebody says, Oh, don't take them apart. They're more, they're worth more together. No, I got like a few pounds worth of necklaces for 15 bucks. They're not worth more. They, if they were, somebody would have been selling them for more, right? The beads are actually worth more off of the pieces. Cause I could turn around, wash these beads and sell them. So um, it, which I might, which might happen because I will be selling beads later this year or early next year. These are acrylic. This one's acrylic. Um, this one is resin with some shells in it. Um, another coated bead. This one, I don't know what's in there around. It's really weird. It's like kind of furry. I don't know. I think it's a cool bead though. Um, I would not wear this as is. I would take that apart. Got some good spacer beads on it. This one's a multi-strand again. This one's a little too short for me to keep it the way it is, but these are beautiful bone beads, beautiful. They're dyed. Um, and then look at this, this is multi-strand bead. So one strand comes in at the top and then you can hang multiple strands from the bottom and then more tiny uh, bone beads. They look like wood. I can just tell that they're bone though. Like just the, it, it it's hard to say how I can tell because it does look like wood, but I can tell they're bone. Other than me handling just millions of beads, I can't tell you how I can tell. <laughs> um, this is really cool. It's like a ceramic pendant, Brahma Sweden. Made in Sweden, that's pretty cool. It's beautiful, it's a little peacock. And then some vintage leather. Um, it is just tied. I would not wear this the way it is. I would make some beads or coordinate beads in my stash with that pendant. Uh, I don't know. These are probably vintage Czech or Bohemian or beads. Um, they're gorgeous. The, the uh, spacers are gorgeous. Love these. It's way too tiny for my neck, but gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. 
I did open this yesterday and look through it, but it was nighttime and I couldn't really see everything. So I didn't really notice how cute this one was. Um, this one's really lovely. It's got some, I think it's Czech glass. If not, it's just some coated glass. Um, these are really cool. They're matte. And then I think these are buttons. No, they're not buttons, but they look like buttons kind of, but they're so fun. That's fun. Little necklace. I would still take it apart. <laughs> um, this one's really interesting. It's like lucite or, or resin or something, some leaves with a rose and then some matching rectangle beads and some spacers. This is a really good, I, I was hesitant to buy this one, but I'm really glad I bought it because it has some really cool stuff. This one is pretty cool. We've got some magnesites, um, some very large wood beads, and um, look at this guy. It's like a, a metal bead with some rhinestones on it. I would not keep this the way it is, although this is definitely a wearable necklace. Like all of these are wearable, but I, its design is not my style. So I would just take it apart. This bead's pretty cool. It's very early 2000s looking. So I'm wondering if that's from the early 2000s um, or mid 2010s. Got some wood beads. These are so fun. They're like little cups. I don't know, like I can make a little faux plant and make a little, like put it on top and make it into an earring out of polymer clay. That'd be so cute. And we have some porcelain beads. They look like they have like millenfiori spots on them. Maybe it's glass. Yeah, this is glass, not porcelain. Um, those are just super duper cute. I think I would use those with maybe some daisies and some green beads or something. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with this selection, but the beads are cool by themselves. <laughs> um, oh, we have a nice red wood bead necklace, very tiny. And then there's some really nice faceted glass beads between them. That's cool. I totally missed those. Very neat. This one like takes the cake. Look at this big bead. It's not quite a cone, but it, it does taper just a little bit. And it's got an elephant carved on it. This is um, a bone bead. It's got an elephant carved and his trunk is up. That makes I could keep it. <laughs> Beautiful rondelles. Um, these are these are metal. I don't think they're metal coated acrylic. I think they're metal, but I'm not sure. I know this one on this side is metal. It's kind of heavy. Then we have some gold stone, very pretty, which I didn't notice last night because I was looking at it in the dark, some black beads, and then tons, and I do mean tons of uh, bone um, cylinders. These are so cool. I, I don't, I mean, I guess I would wear this as is, but I really just want to create with it. So I don't know if I'm going to take it apart yet. Like maybe I'll wear it a couple times and then decide if I want to take it apart. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. And it's something that I would probably just make myself, um, but not think to use Goldstone. Honestly, like this one was worth the price of the entire box. And I got so many cool other beads with it too. This one is another multi-strand, tons of little tiny wood beads. It's kind of a hot mess. I would not wear it as is, um, but I do really like these two multi-strand pieces. These would make really fun earrings, I think. Tons of tiny wood beads, some little metal beads, some chain, lots of cool stuff, like matte chain to take apart, a good clasp, like all this will get reused eventually, if I ever have time. And then some beautiful batik bone beads. I might have these beads, but these are, you know, used. Doesn't matter to me, just as good. Great way to get some beads. Like, honestly, if you were gonna to go to a store, which you couldn't go to the store and get all these beads together because they're so eclectic, you would spend hundreds of dollars at a bead store for beads like this, if they were brand new. I spent 30 bucks max with shipping included on this. So you're getting tons of beads. Um, and then little tiny babies between them. Um, then we have another bone necklace here. This one, I think I had like an idea to turn these into some statement earrings. Um, we'll see if that ever comes to fruition and I might sell them because it would just kill me to like make statement earrings like with these beautiful bone beads. 
um, just for a video and then have them sit in my stash for a bajillion years. But these are so cool. So, so cool. I love those. And then we've got some coins, some tinier bone beads. And then last but not least, um, another elephant necklace. This one's all car hand carved bone. We've got a pendant. His trunk is down. I don't care. It's really cute. Um, and then all these uh, bone elephants, hand carved, and then some um, some drugs. So, oh, look at this. Oh, I thought this was the clasp. Wait, it is. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Have you ever seen something so cool in your life? It's a bone clasp that's a, uh, it, it spins. It's like a twist clasp. <gasps> I've never seen a clasp like that. That is so cool. Sometimes necklaces like this sell for 15 to 30 bucks just by itself because this is very detailed, very gorgeous work. There might be a little bit of an issue here. I think maybe one of his tusks is broken, but it's so beautiful. This is just making me happy. Okay, so this was just the first. We'll have more added on as they pour in. Oh gosh, I missed a bag. <laughs> this one, um, just I would definitely take this apart. We've got a cute little pendant. Um, and then look, some beautiful leather that already has some really great end caps. So I would just take the chain off, use these on the back of some necklace. It's got a really great clasp and an extender. So you're not only looking for beads in these situations. Now I'm kind of torn on this one. I, this is not my style. However, I really, really love this beautiful shell piece on the back. I don't know if I could get that out of there. It seems like it's really glued in there. We've got a pretty, um, Peacock, it's just not my style. So maybe I'll just sell the pendant because I know lots of people like that. Um, a nice cord necklace. It's just, you know, like I said, it's just not my, like this is my style, this is not my style. Maybe I could paint it and make it my style. Hmm, that's a thought. Really cute little teardrop metal pendant. I would put this with beads, not just on a cord. But it's a cool cord. Like maybe we can find some fat, like, beads like large hole beads the thing is the hole would have to get over this ending because this is glued in place this pendant is so lovely look at this so gorgeous you would spend 20 bucks on this at a bead sh uh, bead shop or maybe not 20 but at a bead show it's just the nacre on that is so gorgeous and look these are such high-end shell beads black lip shell they're so smooth so well done such a gorgeous piece it's just not my style so i'll take it apart and, and make it my style and then we have two lamp work glass beads and tons of seed beads so pretty this is just such a pretty pendant and I, you really can't see how rainbowy it is in real life and then this is the one necklace that i would keep exactly as it is and i think i'm gonna just go take it to my bedroom put it in my closet um beautiful pendant look at that pearl shell and then we've got some per it's not pearl but it's it's shell we've got some That's some freshwater pearls some uh, probably hematite beads they're all such beautifully hand linked i i just couldn't there's no way i could take this apart just wear it and then we've got some beautiful rhinestones on the top. It's just so gorgeous. There's there's nothing, I couldn't make it better. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching this part. We'll move on to the next box. Okay, so two more orders came in. One is in the ether. They haven't even shipped it yet and I ordered it ten, seven days ago, over seven days ago. So we'll see if that one ever comes in. But this video is just gonna consist of these two orders. One only has three pieces in it. So I'll show you that one first. The other one, <laughs> it came in at seven pounds. And so, and I, I actually didn't peek through it because it, was, it wasn't really a mystery box. They had um, some really good, well, they, they didn't have very good pictures, but I could see some of the stuff in the bags and I'll zoom up so you can see what I'm talking about. But this one first was some bone necklaces. Um, I like this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think this will probably be one that sits in the stash for a while, um, just because I, I, I don't know what to do with it yet. But 
has a lot of different bone, a lot of silver beads. I don't like this background. I'm going to go find a blue. Okay, yeah. I really need to replace all of my bead mats because they all just have smudges and dirt from beads and stuff on them, and they just look gross. But I didn't like that yellow mat. It just didn't look good. Um, I always end up <laughs> not using the yellow mat. But anyway, this was the, the first one in that one. The reason why I bought this set, and I think the set, like I bid up to $5 and I got it because it was like four something, but the shipping was like six something, it's ridiculous, was for this necklace. The necklace in the pictures looked way better than this. So as we can see, there's like, it's, I don't think it's like mold, but there's gunk on the leather. So I'll have to throw that out. Like these beads need to be washed. And these, the green that's showing on here did not show up in the photos very well. So I didn't realize that they were green um, or had some dye rub off or something. So I may try scrubbing those. I, I don't know, but I just love these shapes. I've never had any bone um, pendants that look like that. And I just thought it was pretty cool. And then um, we have some little dangles. They're very dirty as well. I might try scrubbing those. I don't know, or I might just paint them. But it has a lot of jump rings on it, some cool metal beads, and then some more bone beads. But yeah, this one definitely needs a wash. And my hands after this video will be getting a huge wash too. <laughs> um, and then this was the third one. I had a cute little bone uh, bird. There we go. And then some dyed bone and that was that this one could actually just be worn like this but and i like what they did with the bail they put it on sideways but that'll probably just go i'll use this on something else so that was just uh, this one i thought i would enjoy way more than i did because but because that just wasn't the best i wasn't too happy with it now we're gonna bust in to this seven pound order they shipped it in a priority box in a trash bag, but everything's individually bagged for the most part. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Here we go. It's like a huge, it's really heavy. So we're gonna go one by one through what's in this box. First thing I saw were these really teeny tiny shell beads. Oh my gosh, look at how teeny tiny they are. I think they're shell. They're very um, matte and very thin super duper thin and i don't know if that's acrylic or some kind of stone yeah it's definitely stone but so tiny so tiny there is some native american stuff in here lots of tribal stuff um i think i can't remember i think with shipping this was like 40 dollars which the shipping for six pounds was like 15 to 17 dollars itself so I didn't spend a ton of money. I think I maybe spent like $23 on the necklaces and the rest was on shipping. So let's see what this is. Cute little turtle pendant. Actually, it's not so little. It's wood. It's so cute. It's very lightweight, but it's carved. So he'll go eventually when I um, um, harvest all this stuff like he'll just come off of there and go in my bead stash look some of those shells broke that's not that doesn't bode well um, which I will be doing a harvesting video soon and I will be doing some jewelry making with the harvested beads soon too that's one of my goals so this says koa jewelry this wood is prized for its beautiful colors and patterns it's found on higher elevations and stands over 70 feet in height acacia wood it uh, was crafted exclusively for royalty sculptured images of gods personal containers and canoes were made by hawaiians from this precious wood today we present expertly handcrafted jewelry using the choicest grains from koa uh, each piece is delicately made and follows the same tradition that was once made for royalty. That's really cool. I love that I know that this is that type of wood. And I just love the, look how detailed it is. Very cool. All right. Another necklace. So um, we've got some malachite. I don't know if that's real malachite. I think it probably is. We've got some African vinyl beads. That is cool. This is definitely vintage. I think this is um, a copal resin bead. And then we have some metal. So yeah, this is definitely not my style, but I'll take it apart and use the beads separately. We've got some metal and then some seed beads. Very cool. 
this looks like maybe mahogany, uh, maybe a mahogany obsidian. Is that what it is? I can't remember. Or brushiated jasper. I can't tell which one. And then, oh, look at these little drops. I like those. Those I would definitely use in something. Uh, the leather's kind of toast. I would throw that out. But maybe the extender in the back I would keep and the clasp. Got a bunch of seed beads here. I um, don't think I will ever in my life use this many seed beads, so I might just keep the wood beads and destash the seed beads. I don't know, or give them away or something. I don't know who needs that many blue seed beads. It's a cute necklace, not one that I would wear. This one is cool. Look at these big beads. These are wood beads. Um, it's a wood necklace, but these big ones are awesome. I love that. And then I really like these saucers. And then we just have some regular wood beads in the back. Then we have some coconut wood here. Lots of those saucers on there. That's a pretty cool necklace. Love that. Got a pendant necklace. Oh, that pendant is really cool. Ooh, I like these two green beads too. Nice. Oh, I like the metal on here. And then that's a really nice jump ring. It's not really closed very well, but it's a really nice jump ring. Um, this pendant I really love. I would probably take off the dangles and separate the beads and use like the little drops separately from the purple beads and the green beads from separately from everything else. Good chain. That's a good find. That's cute. I mean, this is a good layering necklace too. It's just not my color combo. Oh, I did see this one. I did kind of start rooting around in the box, but then I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff in here. I don't even want to look at it. I want to have my genuine reaction <laughs> on my cam on camera. So these are some nice shell spikes separated by seed beads and then some bugle beads and then um, a closure. Oh, it's um, adjustable. These are just from really nice shell beads. Very cool, I can definitely do something with that. Uh, the reason why I got this for such a good deal was the seller said that they were moving out of country and they hadn't ever even listed these necklaces. They had a ton of stuff. Um, some things listed separately, but I guess they just never got around to listing this stuff. They were just a reseller. Um, so we have some shell, some coconut wood. Yeah, I wouldn't wear it like this, but I mean, this used to be the fashion, I guess. We've got another one of those, but all white. We've got another one that's just more like rondelles or heisha beads, I would say, with purple, brown, and white. Lots of good spacer beads. My goodness, look at this. I didn't see this one before. Wow, look at these cones. Those are wood. And then look at the, like I would wear this, I think. I, I probably won't, which is why I'm gonna take it apart at some point, but I love these beads. Look at these carved wood beads. We've got some rondelles, some rounds, and some chunky heishis. That's a cool necklace, actually. I don't know, I think I'm gonna wait before taking that one apart because future Brittany might wanna wear it. You know, future Brittany that never leaves her house. <laughs> um, this is interesting so we've got acrylic beads those aren't in the best condition you know i like acrylic beads but they have to be nice you know but these are i want to see these are paper mache covered wood beads and that's just cool that's somebody else's art you know they're a little dingy but that's okay and then we've got some cool spacers in between brass spacers i think i would pitch the um the purple beads just because they're just not that nice but those are really cool handmade beads i've got another shell so this oh wow look at that that's pretty now there is some yellowing over here i th i can't tell if they've like covered this in resin or if that's just the shell's color over time i don't mind it you could even paint on top of this like a flower scene or something pretty cool shell pendant um i'm probably just going to get rid of the leather the faux leather lace all 
Another shell. This one's a flower with a pearl center. It would probably, honestly, I would probably take the pearl off um, and repurpose. And then it's just got braided rat tail cord, which I would probably get rid of. But the flower's pretty cool. Again, a little yellow. Um, I did see this one before, but I, I, I got excited and I was like, okay, let's stop looking. <laughs> um, I love, I don't know, I think this is bone. Pretty sure that's bone. Look at this bead. Oh my God, they're so cool. They're, um, cor they're ca this one's carved and then we've got some nice metal beads, another carved bead, some rondelles and more metal. This is pretty cool. I like these these beads. This one got me pretty excited too when I saw it earlier. I love these beads. I think these are all clay and they all look like handmade beads. Um, these aren't my favorite. I'm gonna put that out there. I just don't think they're very attractive beads, but these white polka dot ones are so cool. And I do kind of like these because they look like stones. I would end up probably either selling or painting these beads in the middle. But I just, I really liked these. Hmm, let's see what's in here. Oh, very cool. There's a lot going on on here, a lot of beads on here. So we've got, um, I, I don't know what these are. Quills maybe? And then we've got some metal beads, some seed beads. Um, let me know if you repurpose jewelry or you use like off size, like these are, I think, eightos, but they're not like uniform. Let me know, do you use these for anything? Or because I, they, if I take this apart, I will literally never use those. They're just gonna sit in a box because I have so many of them. And I'm not a bead weaver. Then we've got this little guy. This looks native. Look at how pretty and delicate that is. So cute, look at that. See like this I probably would resell because I, I know I'm not gonna wear it and I don't really hang stuff up like this in my house. Uh, I do have an African necklace hanging in my house, but um, yeah, I don't really wear stuff like this, but it's super cute and I, I would hate for it to just sit in my house forever, but it's so well done, it's super duper cute and it's definitely vintage. I have been getting the urge to sell stuff again, so I have to either have a sale or put stuff in my Etsy or develop a website. I really don't wanna go on Etsy, Etsy is not my favorite. I buy a lot on Etsy. <laughs> I don't like selling on Etsy. Look, handmade paper beads. I love these. Definitely would repurpose these. They're so cool though. So neat. I love that color combo actually. That's very fun. What's going on here? I haven't seen this one. This is a bit of a mess. Sorry to whoever made this necklace. <laughs> okay, um, oh, they sold it for 20. Uh, hopefully somebody bought it before, but this is interesting. You could tell it's like a vessel um, that somebody used like waxed cord and it, it, it's a bit of a mess. I, I know it's old, but it's, it's a bit of a mess. Um, I like the glass bead. <laughs> uh, we have some handmade ceramic beads. Those are nice. So I would use those. Uh, I, I don't know what I would do with this little vessel thing. And it's not in the best shape. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, I would not keep these together. I do not like how this looks, but I do like the color of the yellow pieces, orangey yellow. Actually, these two are the same color over here, and this is a different color, so maybe that would be on its own. Um, and I would separate everything else. Uh, cool components, execution, not my fave. Nice um, clasp, does it say who, who the maker was? Kenneth Cole? Does it really say Kenneth Cole? Yeah, it does. Yeah, 
Sorry to Kenneth Cole. Not my favorite. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. My friend uh, Julie would really love this. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Uh, look at this. These are acrylic. Um, but it's so nice. It's like nicely done. It's um, an imitation, but it's super nicely done. It's pretty hefty. Got a cool chain on it. I would take it off the chain. Um, use the chain for something else, but this is so fun. Maybe we'll make a necklace with this because it just is super duper cute. Not in this video. <laughs> Not in this video. I really like this piece. First of all, look at the clasp. Super duper cute. I love that they use some little, those are probably, I don't know if those are tear cast, but they're really cute little clamps. But look, it's a cute little, I keep saying the word cute, I'm sorry, arrow with patina on it. It's a nice little necklace. I'm not going to keep it um, like this. I would put this on something else, but I could potentially keep the leather like that because it's a nice clasp. I wouldn't want to just get rid of that, or I can just take the clasp apart. But yeah, I really love that pendant. Um, these are bone. I'm not going to take it out because they're just, it's just a stripey bone necklace. Well, I like the ombre look of these smaller wood beads. I don't know if these wood or bone. I think they're bone. And then I'm not quite sure what the silver beads are. Um, but look, we've got wood and bone beads going down. Oh, that one's pretty cool. And I love that it's like faded. It's very beachy, beach house faded colors. Again, wouldn't wear it as is, but I could recreate something with it. Very cool. I don't think I'm gonna like what's going on here. Yeah, no, I do not like what's going on here. Ugh. No, this is probably just going to get pitched. <laughs> it's not my favorite. It's the, the, the chain is glued. Maybe I'll keep the little spike, but yeah, not my favorite. Maybe I'll keep the little link in some of this chain. Sorry if you made that. Good effort. <laughs> and then you don't have to like everything, right? It's just, it's not, it's not physically possible to like everything. Um, ooh, cute. It's a little stone briolette with some metal, maybe metal plated acrylic. So what, what was this, the issue, the design? Oh, okay. So it was like this. Hmm. Interesting. Some nice stones though. Nice metal bead. Some macrame at the back. Gosh, we still have so much going on in this box. Okay, I thought I saw this. This has Raku beads on it. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that. It's got handmade Raku beads. Okay, so this necklace alone would have been tens of dollars, probably anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks just for the, because of these beads. So this necklace pays for this box because of the raku, And then we've got some black beads too. Oh, that knot is cool. Yeah, this is cool. These are gonna get harvested for sure. And I can use them in conjunction with a lot of stuff. I love, love, love raku. This is the closure. I don't know what type of bead that is. But then we have like a little f hook shell. This is definitely not something that I would wear. Um, that shape is probably not something that I would wear either. So maybe I'll um, take it once I take it apart, clean it up and put it in a sale. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this, I love this color, these color combos. So we got a birdie in the middle. Got a little bit of an issue 
on the edge here. It's beautiful though. It's very soft leather. I don't know what this is. Is it a, is it a head headband? It's not a bracelet. It's not really falling apart. It's just like this was a sealant, I think, that was on here somehow. Anyway, it's very beautiful. Somebody did it on a loom. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe sell it because I, I won't use it. Um, yeah, this is mm, just seed beads and some, I think, either lower quality glass or acrylic beads. Yeah, those are acrylic there's a seam yeah not the greatest oh this is cool little bone fang very cool that's going in my stash this is pretty little ohm symbol on there little meditation pendant double-sided Ooh, with some paint that'd be really nice it's got a nice um, cord on it very beautiful i like really want to pick like five five things and like remake them into five other things not in this video but i really want to do that soon uh this is cool it's a big clay bead with some um coconut wood i guess this was just one adjustable necklace that somebody was wearing very cool focal. There's still a ton in this box. <laughs> I told you it was seven pounds. Almost seven pounds. Um, okay. It's a really neat uh, lava bead. I think that's the best thing I can say about this necklace. The rest is just meh. Oh, nice. Oh, this is cute. Little ceramic pendant with clouds. That's really neat. I'm keeping that for sure. The rest is going to go in the garbage. What is this? Ooh, that's nice. I like this portion of it. This part maybe would get roughed up or changed somehow. Nice. Kind of, kind of kind of nice cord with it. Mm. Like a faux, like a quartzite or a ventrine or something. Some chain. Ooh, what's going on here? All right, so we have some like Chinese or Asian looking coins. Um, I don't know. Is this wood? I think it is wood. Seed beads. I, I don't. I don't know. It's very interesting though. I would not use this like it is. I would just take it apart. These beads are really cool. The coins I can take or leave, but the beads are really cool. Oh, another one of those hooks. This one's made out of that. Uh, it's, I think it may be the same wood. But, oh, that's cool. I would probably, even though it's not my favorite shape, probably keep this just because it looks really neat. Very nice. metal bead oh look at the little stripes on the seed beads and then some clay beads I have beads that look exactly like that and then some seed beads another coin oh look at the little chicken so it's got all of the uh, years or animals on it uh, this is stone I thought at first it was glass but stone I think probably some black agate and then some carnelian. Sometimes it's really hard to tell agate and glass apart, so I could be wrong on that, but this is definitely carnelian. 
Very cool. Whoa! What is going on here? All right, so we have a glass bead. Oh my, this is a really cool bead too. Some nice metal, really pretty pink glass bead. I think it's acrylic. Could be horn, but I think it is acrylic. And then this is a wood bead that's been marbled. Very neat. What's going on down here? My goodness. Well, I gotta say, create, everybody's so creative. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this is a glass bead. Interesting combo. I, it's definitely not my style, but I like like everything separately. Like, isn't that funny that you can like stuff separately, but then the execution, you're like, mm, maybe not. I wonder if I could get this out of there. It's probably glued in pretty well. Oh no, it's wired in. Those are pretty cool endings. Ooh, a big wood necklace. <gasps> wow. Those are like huge like wafers. Those are awesome. So, and the color's gorgeous. I love this color wood. These are, this is nice. Like I love the way wood beads feel sometimes that they're like really nicely done. Some more, this is coconut wood. This one's got a pendant on it. A little turtle. Another turtle. Cute little turtle. Aw, cute little vintage turtle. And then we've got some shells. Never run out of shells or coconut wood. I will never because of all of these necklaces that I get from these hauls. Um, some dog tag like shape be, uh, pendants. One's got a Buddha, which is really cool. Um, I would probably change the color and one has a dragon and then some ball chain. So it's very hefty with a nice clasp. I like that. Not my typical style, but it's, it's cool. Oh my gosh. We still got several necklaces to go. We're around like 30 minutes at this point when I'm filming. Uh, more wood, more coconut wood. Very interesting. We've seen me do this technique before. Not Maybe not on a necklace though. I always want to. Some purple shells. These are very funky. You know, when I first saw them, I was like, mm. but actually I'm kind of in love with them. I love how chunky and funky they are. These would look great with like some bright colored agate, a huge chunky pendant. Yeah. I want to make these into something because I know some of you are probably like, oh. <laughs> I was too. Oh, look, I love it when I find these animal, these wood animal necklaces because they don't make them anymore. Well, that's wrong. They could possibly make them anymore, but they don't, that sometimes they're not like hand carved and these are hand carved. Look at the little zebras, zebras. And then look at this pretty, pretty bead. That's gorgeous. That's a focal, you know, like I know the zebras are supposed to be the focal, but this, this bead's a focal too. So cute. Love it. Oh yes. I got four of each one. Wow. Look at this guy. <gasps> it's got an elephant in the trunk is up and it's brass on there. I think I would clean this up a little bit. Brass embedded. And then look, this is resin with brass embedded in it. These beads are awesome. Would not wear it as is, but definitely would wear it some other way. More wood. And I think there's some mm, seeds or nuts on here too, like this one. Um, not the saucers. This is a little dark. This color palette is not my jam, but I would use them independently. I like how they did this, these three beads together. Cause it's not, I don't think it's one bead. Yeah, it's three. Oh, we've got some teeny tiny shells and some smaller wood. Cute, cute. 
another one of these uh, like sea bead glass necklaces. I like the orange beads on here. I, I probably just would get rid of the rest of the beads. Like the orange and the brown beads are nice, but the gold beads, I'll never use them. And then what do we have here? Oh, wow. Wow. I think these, these are wood. They're very Black Panther-ish. But also very spiky. Those are very cool. I like those. <laughs> it's like the haul that never ends. Oh, my. Oh, look. Some kind of cat, like big cat, a tiger maybe, carved into the shape of a tooth. OMG, that's probably the coolest thing I've seen today. And then we've got a nice bale. Look at this guru bead. That is such an interesting guru bead. I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like that. And then we've got some carved beads. I think these are actually acrylic. And then some wood beads going up the top. Like, so the execution, not my favorite, but this is such a cool pendant. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Love it. Wow. Love this anchor. Hand carved out of wood. Very lightweight. So cute. I'm getting a ton of cool pendants out of this. A ton of cool pendants. Wow. Okay, so these are seed beads that I would use. First of all, that color is amazing, and it's it's a little bit more orange than it's showing up on the screen, but not by much. And it's just some beautiful 6.0 seed beads, but they're glass, like really nice glass, and they're almost bigger than 6.0s, almost. But these remind me of some of the African or Java glass that I have. These, I probably would put them in with that, just so if I was ever shopping those drawers in my jewelry studio, I would know like, oh, hey, that's in there too. Sometimes that's how my brain thinks. Like if it's not in the drawer that I would use it with the beads that I would use it with, I'm not gonna use it. Like if I put this in the yellow drawer, I'll never go there for them. But if it's in with my African and Indian glass, I'll probably use it. That's a nice glass bead. And then two nice um, metal beads and some glass rondelles. More seed beads, but there's a pendant. Mm. Oh, that's kind of cool, but do you see, like, it's super dirty. I would definitely have to wash this or paint it or something. But I like that sun. Mm, I don't like the seed beads, though. Oh, another turtle. So cute, like brown lip shell turtle. So beautiful. It's nicely carved. So cute. Oh, and it hangs like that. Super duper cute. Getting some good pendants today. Oh, what is this? It almost looks like, like curtain tie backs. I'm sorry. But look, oh, that's a raccoon bead. More raccoon beads. I, I feel like I hit the freaking jackpot today because look at these. Oh, and that's a really big raccoon pendant. Okay, it's, it's mm, I like it. Okay, I like it. Not in the context that it's in. And it looks a little, if you know, you know, it looks kind of like, it kind of looks like number two. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but I think it's just like, the color they went with. It's really pretty though. It's got some nice um, swirls and stamps in it. I can make it cool. I can make it really cool. So, I can't believe I'm getting some beautiful raccoon pendants and beads out of this. Oh my gosh, how precious. A little totem, hand carved. I almost hate to clean it, but I think I might. So beautiful, love that. 
oh, when I was looking at these, I thought that they might be ceramic, but they're resin. They definitely need to be cleaned. I think, well, they might just be scratched, but I think they need to be cleaned too. Um, I think this was a well-loved necklace. It's got cool beads on it. I wouldn't use them all together. I, I don't like that color combo, but oh my gosh, are we on the last, I think we're on the last couple necklaces here. Isn't this like, I got this for $40 after shipping after shipping <laughs> oh my gosh look at i love these endings those are cool and then oh the wood beads are kind of cute too very neat and i've got two two more things my goodness this took over 40 minutes or almost 40 minutes for me to film okay so not my style. I don't know if I, I would even worry about taking this apart because I have so many beads that look like this. It's interesting though. Look at look. Somebody really took the time to weave all that together. Very nice. And then last but certainly not least, what do we have here? Oh, a nice shell piece. Okay, and then a stone bead, and then a nice piece of leather. Probably use the leather more faster than I would this the shell oh my gosh I can't even I think that my favorites were the raku um, some of the pendants and some of the wood beads Ugh, this was such an amazing haul let me know what you think do you ever go through and buy vintage jewelry do you take it apart let me know what you want to see me do with this haul um, I will have a harvesting video coming and hopefully we will be making something with at least five of these items. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking in there. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Hey, kitty. You want your blankie? Yeah. It's mommy's cutie. You're so adorable. Love you.